Uh, what the hell? Need to change your resolution. Hold on, that's a new one. Considering I didn't change anything. Uh, I don't even know where the hell it go. I'm getting a weird I'm getting a thing here it says unsupported resolution but I didn't change anything from the last time from the break just finished five minutes ago so I'm not sure uh, what's going on all right well I'm just gonna run with it oh there it goes now I went green uh, who the hell knows okay we're back for the second case of Black Panther just released upper deck blah cards thank you it's uh Hopefully we can make this one go a little bit quicker now that we know what we're dealing with. <laughs> well, did you see the one uh, down, down on the table? I think it was it was one of the Ghostbuster breaks. Just recently, I don't know if it was the one I just had or the one a couple weeks before that, where I fell asleep at the end of the second case. I zonked out for I don't know how long it was, maybe like five minutes or something. That was pretty embarrassing. I don't want to have that happen again. Let's spin it around. All right, so due to the way the wrap, uh, these packs are wrapped, I'm just I'm using scissors to open them because I don't feel like I'm going to bend the cards. I'm putting up their thick packs, so obviously they've got something in them. So I'll save them for the end. At least that's something. I hate that some of these, the cards are flipped in different directions. So the first case I think was, I'm going to say it was a, your standard case. You know, we had one good autograph in the Martin Freeman. Our duel was okay because it had, it was the Angela Bassett. Um, everything else pretty much seemed to go according to plan. Sketches were decent, above average. I mean, nothing that really made me... You know, jump out, you know, and yell about it. And the uh, one thing is that the harder parallel, um, so either I grabbed one that isn't. So I'm pretty sure we have a vibranium in this box because that pack it's not thick but it it's heavy. So all right. So anyway, um, the indigo parallels, which unless that's just mistyped and it's actually indigo, because they're just white and I thought indigo was like a purple color. 
that makes sense there. Boxes that have the vibranium seem to have three uh, wardrobe cards in them. So anyway, uh, just taking the short sample of one case, we pulled eight of the um, these indigos, which are numbered out of 50. Matter of fact, there's one right there. They're easy to find because they're always stuck to the next card. Because the texture on them, there's so much. Now, I'm trying to find, so if that was. I don't see. I don't know, one of the other cards, there's like a little. I mean, I'm not going to mess with it, but there's something stuck to the card. But it doesn't look like anything got peeled off of the card that it was stuck to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we pulled two of the the Florence lady. So I was saying, so she's the Rachel House of, uh, of this product. But one of them was a duel with Angela Bassett, so <laughs> that's not too bad. But anyway, so those uh, those white parallels right there, the Indiglos, or Indigos, excuse me, they, um, just using that, that we pulled eight of them, and there's 50 of each, 90 cards in the base set, that puts us somewhere, that would say it's somewhere around 550 to 560 cases. The, uh, Black Parallels, which are numbered out of 149. We pulled, I believe it was 27 of those. So using those numbers, just doing a quick, there's one of the Black Parallels. I think that came out to roughly 500 cases. So I think we're in the right ballpark there. That there's somewhere around 500, 550 cases. Which honestly is a little bit less than I expected. I would have thought there would have been more than that. I guess the real question that everybody was asking uh, in the Black Panther thread was how much of this did they hold back for EPAC? Because a lot of people could not get this product in physical form. You know, one other thing I could check real quick, which I don't know if this will work, but there's, we got two of the gold acetates. So, I mean, that's not much of a, of a sample, but so 90 times 10 divided by 2, so that's 450. So, figure you get, some cases might only have one, some cases might have two. That would make sense as well. So, yeah, I think we're pretty good at 500 cases. I don't know if anybody else has crunched any numbers. Oh, no, this is cool. Is this a... Yeah, this is one of the harder singles. I forget what the odds are. One in 140-something. So this is a single of Angela Bassett. And she's got her material as like a silver stuff. Now, in the last case, we got one of the hard single wardrobe cards. So I'm guessing that'll be the case again with this case. Should we do one single, one quad, um, and one dual autograph? Here's this uh, Zuri guy. His material is pleated, so it's kind of neat. Get a little bit of texture to it. And 
here's a duel come on focus there we go Is one handed. You still there, Russell? I don't know if you you bailed after uh, since you're not in the second case. Hope you are. I got a question for you. And then we got Kilgore as our vibranium card. Like I said, it's kind of like a like a matte finish on this kind of neat. I guess he bailed after his case was done. He was itching for a comic product to open. He had posted in the in my in my thread to get to know your group break host. Uh, the only two things out there are uh, well, actually, technically, there's three things, but there's um, Marvel gems and uh, Fleer Ultra Spider-Man. I didn't know if he had a preference. Uh, I must have. I think I combined two. Yeah, I did. Yeah, well, we'll see how excited you are when you see the price. It is way way more expensive than series one was and they're expecting the price to be really uh, volatile so I won't be able to do like a rolling break I'm gonna have to do like each case is gonna have to be its own break because they're expecting the price to change over the next you know two or three months however long it's gonna be well what I don't know is I don't know if the the difference in price is being driven by the demand of the product or if uh, Cryptozoic raised their price but I put in for it this morning or early this afternoon so it should pop up in a day or two but I was talking with blowout today and they were saying they're getting so many yeah, maybe got two vibraniums in a row there they've been getting so many calls and emails about bombshells too so I think everybody's really anticipating this one because of how well series one did but I do agree they really do need more than three figures Did you see the in the picture? Did you see the uh, the figure that they showed? I think it was Harley Quinn, but it was really neat because it like had two dogs or something. Uh, sitting alongside. Oh, that looks like a gold, yeah. A gold acetate.
I think I like the regular acetates better than the gold. They just remind me of when some of the old acetate cards from the 90s get all, like from a smoker's house, they get all dingy. There's a standard acetate card. Also with bombshells, I mean, they've released so many of these little figures, you know, as their own releases. So, I mean, they've got the molds. I would think it can't be that hard to maybe, you know, I don't know, if, I don't know if they want to repurpose it, but, you know. At least have more figures. Alright, so that feels like a vibranium card again. A single, let's see, MB, not one of the hard ones. Maybe like one one per case is actually a full color, and not uh, uh, not a um, the the white and gold. Here's our quad. All the quads are the same odds. Oh no, they're not. Right, the quads the quads had different odds. Oh no, the quads were the same odds. It was the singles. And oh, it was the dual autographs. That's what I was thinking of. That had different odds. I feel like how tops uh, with their Star Wars, the black and white autographs. Here's a dual. You had the, the color variation autograph that was an unannounced. That was actually something neat to, you know, was unexpected. I hated the whole product, but, well, I didn't. The base cards were nice. I hated the parallels. Here's our vibranium number two. Ah, you're back, Russell. Uh, where that goes over here. Yeah, I was asking a question a little bit ago. You were looking for a comic product to open, and I was saying how the only thing worth opening was either Gems or Fleer Ultra Spider-Man. Because after that, there's there's Marvel Annual, but you only get two sketches a case, so I don't think that's. I don't think anybody really cares about all the crap that they put in that product. Do you have a preference, whether it be Gems or Ultra Spider-Man? You know, it's a shame with the Gems. I actually, it's a nice product. I just, I don't get into all female. Yeah, it's a pa it'd be a pack draft though, because there's, it's just like retro. There's, there's too much stuff that you know, to to be able to break it down into something. That makes sense is damn near impossible. And you figure uh, Hester did a reverse pack draft when that first came out. Then this, because it's gone down in price, this will be like. Uh, I think it's roughly six dollars a spot cheaper. Today I also put in for um, I did the Game of Thrones, a season one and a season four case. I, I saw that. Oh, here's our sketch. 
I saw that season one case and it was just calling my name and I had asked about it and uh, somebody whoever was it suggested adding another you know the problem with with Cree that's something that's just for a person a single person to break because it's so cheap but you know you'd have to it, you would have to open up like 10 cases of it and then even then what are you gonna have 15 spots in the whole break because you know one maybe two sketches a case plus one or two printing plates I mean, this stuff's only like 200 bucks a case. And it's been like that forever. Uh, crap, where's the... Oh, black parallels. Last tape. Making more piles. Making more piles than I need. I think with a product like that, I'm going to, I would end up with, you know what, I don't, I would love to know how much they actually have because they've had that stuff for sale for that cheap forever. They, they must have bought hundreds of cases. Here's another Indigo. So that's two. Mm. No, that's not. I don't think that's a relic. The only thing about doing the, the Cree one is they do, I feel like that that's been on, they've done that as a Black Friday special. So maybe if it goes on Black Friday, you know, it could buy, I would just buy a case or two up front and, um, and then if we fill it, great. I mean, if it's going to be that cheap. Oh, jeez. I, <laughs> I didn't even finish opening the box. Sorry about that. Well, that's it. I finished the one row and I thought I was done. I thought that box looked a little light. I haven't been to the movies in forever. I was just saying in the first in the first case. Now that uh, Black Panther is finally on DVD, I'll be able to watch it. Last time I went, I went to the movies. Uh, last time I was I saw Last Jedi. Single S H. Not one of the harder ones. But I wanted to see Black Panther before Infinity War anyway, just to make sure I had them all under my belt. I'm too busy driving all over God's creation for uh, soccer games. Alright, here's a 
triple with some fuzzy stuff on uh, Zuri's patch. I'll try and get to that. You can see how it's like half and half, half fuzzy, half not. Okay, now I'll show you the sketch. <clears throat> Who did we get here as the artist? We got Anthony Helmer. You know, again, I'm I'm not recognizing a lot of these artists. Good sketch. It's a uh, Spider Gwen. Tickets are usually like 10 bucks for a movie, I think. I'm not sure. Last Jedi, I watched uh, I think it was 3D. That was the only one that was available at the time. This one, the whole top of this card's got scratches on it. Like I said, I'm hoping... I've also noticed in the first case... I mean, it's obviously... A, I mean, that was the wrapper it came out of. I mean, you can see it's all wrinkled up. I forgot to... Uh, move that up just a hair. There we go. There must have been something in the packing or, or what, because a bunch of the cards have little dings, but it's like in the middle of the card. It's not it's not on a um, on a corner. Here's another one of these indigo cards. Everybody seemed to be really excited for it. I was surprised. I mean, it didn't even come close. I mean, I think I let it go for two weeks and it didn't, uh, I don't even think it was half full. I'm not sure why people were, uh, and, and people were knocking it too, the product. I mean, it looked fine to me. I didn't see anything really you know, wrong with it. I mean, they got all the, I mean, they got everybody to sign. Maybe because it's a Netflix show, the it's just too small of a You know, I'm curious what Agent Carter is gonna be like because I mean obviously there's sketches because we've seen people have posted previews and stuff, but is there gonna actually be a set to it? Because I really like the show. But, I mean, you're, you're going to release something 
that's been, you know, off the air for two years. I don't know what kind of a... Uh, Um, how popular it's going to be, you know, being that old. I mean, if it's going to have good sketches and autographs, I mean, you know, it had good enough uh, stars. I see a lot of people using those. Uh, Check out my card's mailboxes. What, uh... And, I mean, isn't the stuff on EPAC goes right to check out my cards? I mean, I don't, I don't know what their charges are. another vibranium I'm not worried at all but uh, Four boxes in, and we will we have not had a uh, autograph yet. Uh, we got here Sherry and Zuri. Yeah, I always wondered that because I had a few people. That um, oh, oops, that's one of the inserts. Uh, it's all the wardrobe cards. Huh, it's interesting. We got two quads already in the case, and quads are should only be one a case. Not complaining. If it can only focus. There we go. Yeah, I was always curious how that worked. Because I know, I mean, there's a couple people that um, that join the breaks that have, whether it's a, you know, check out my cards or, uh, um, what do you call it, uh, some, a mailbox, I guess, like at, at some sort of a mail store or something. BP, not one of the hard ones. I'm surprised that the single memorabilia cards are in three tiers when the listed odds, the one tier is 1 in 45 and the other tier is 1 in 47. I mean, it's the same odds. What are the, what are the chances that this is going to be Black Panther? Yep. And they're all playing these cards. I like the vibranium cards. They're nice. They're clean. They're got like a matte texture to them, which is good. All right. This box right here was put in the case upside down. Maybe that'll be a good sign for something. We haven't hit an autograph yet, but all three vibraniums are out of the way. But we did get two quad memorabilia cards. So that is a plus. So let's see how we do.
because the international shipping, you know, for the United States, I never understood the price, you know, the the fee structure for doing it because there's only like three prices. Uh, am I? I? You know what? Honestly, I'm not even counting. But I think what's what's going to skew it is um, the boxes with the vibranium definitely have three memorabilia cards, and we've already pulled three vibraniums. But I'm sure that we are. Well, easy enough. There's one. Right, well, there aren't three umbrella cards in this box. There's two, but then there's still a sketch or an autograph. So, yeah, I guess the average is three. There's another one of these indigos. Acetate card. Not sure if I said this already, but you know, I'm kind of surprised that this set really reminds me of Ragnarok. Like it's very, very similar. Yet the sketch cards in here are on standard stock, while the ones from Thor were on. They had been almost. They were almost like 100 point stock, if I remember correctly. They were really thick. It was just nice to have something substantial. Oh, there's another sketch. It's that Trom guy. We got him in the in the first uh, in the first case. I'll be honest with you. I think his sketch from the first case is way better than this one. Killgore, Killmonger, and Claw. By no means am I am I saying that they didn't really screw this one up by not getting you know, by only having three signers in the autograph set, but 
Base cards are typical. Parallels are typical. Inserts are typical. The acetates are cool. The vibraniums are cool. Sketches are, you know, they're typical sketches that I'd get out of an upper deck product. I mean, I think there's a, it's an Iron Man. Well, that's a definite. So we are five boxes down, and we still haven't hit an autograph yet. I mean, that was like, uh, I keep going back to Thor since that was the last movie release. If they didn't have the screw up where some of the boxes were shorted hits, that was a very solid release, in my opinion. I mean, they had the main actor sign. It's, again, it wasn't a huge autograph list. You know, could they have gotten. You know, Jeff Goldblum or uh, Hiddleston, you know, I mean, they could have tried. I, I'm, I mean, whether, I'm, whether or not they did, I don't know. But I'm just saying, they, you know, it would have been great to have them. But, I mean, they got Hemsworth. They got Thompson. They got, uh, however you pronounce his name, Watiti. And then they got House, which, you know, they're, they're not going to have every major and none of the supporting cast. I mean, even she had a decent you know, role in the movie. The base set was really nice looking. Didn't understand why they didn't... The base set didn't represent the entire movie. That part threw me off. Uh, acetate. Parallels looked really nice. I mean, I'm considering this to be similar. It's just, again, they screwed up by not having any of the main stars sign. Especially, and everybody's always so skeptical. And I'm, again, I, I don't disagree at all. But it's like, how could you not get Andy Serkis? He signs all the time. Maybe uh, Chadwick Boseman is a sketch. Maybe uh, he's too big already to sign. He doesn't want to sign. I don't know. I don't know if Michael B. Jordan's ever signed for anything, so I couldn't say on him one way or the other. Sir Andy Serkis is the one that really got me. Or Forrest Whitaker. I don't know, does he like have some kind of exclusive thing with Tops? I mean, because he signed for Star Wars releases. Or a Star Wars release. And then also with, uh, what's her name? Uh, um, Michonne. Denai. Here's one of these. Indigo. Really? It's only a 50 cards? Oh, that was the wrong size soft sleeve. Thor Ragnarok's only a 50 card set. If I didn't, tell you what, Russell, if I didn't use them to pack up any cards, I've got most of a set. I know I have a partial that, you know, all the set, all the cards, the base cards that I can't use to make, you know, I can't make sets out of, they end up being my packing material. If I have it, I'll just, I'll ship it, I'll send it to you with whatever you get in the break. 
acetate. I mean, I'll tell you, like, we, like I started to say before, is that the uh, the shipping first class package from the United States to anywhere not Canada. Once you go over, uh, once you go over eight ounces, it's almost twenty three dollars. That's just the postage cost. <laughs> I, I I don't agree with that. But I will say that I don't know Chadwick Boseman from a hole in the wall, but uh, you know, in, in 30 years from now, when he's not acting at all or he's just doing some TV show and he's doing the, uh, the con circuit, he better uh, remember. You know who got him there and why he's still making money signing autographs. Uh, WK. Nope. That's not one of the hard ones. <laughs> Does that mean they're a Wakandan American? If they're in this country now? And a duel. Well, Boseman, uh, again, I somebody can tell me this for sure. He was was he what was he in Selma? It was in it was in some movie. Uh, man, I cannot read that signature. John something. Let me uh, go to the. There's the sketch. It's Scarlet Witch. Uh, sketch, sketch. Is there an artist list in here? Yep. Yeah. Huh. Could have sworn this is a. I would have bet anything that that was a John. But. That's the signature on the back. Kind of looks like a B. Could be a P. Well, Evans is though. Evans is a tough one. That took them a while to get. Hemsworth. I don't. Does he just? Does he like doing conventions and stuff? I mean, because he he signed no problem. Messenger, which which messenger? Probably not. If you mean like Facebook, I'm not on Facebook. I would love to know what the um, like the contracts that Upper Duck has with Marvel and Disney. Because uh, that was the one thing that I couldn't wrap my head around when um, when Upper Deck Matt was okay, thank you. Well, yeah, I'll take a look at the trade. Upper Deck Matt was, you know, defending and trying to explain 
is somebody had brought up that exact thing is they wanted too much money or you know we weren't allowed to get them I mean would they be allowed to just have a guy pay for 20 autographs and go there with a sheet of stickers and uh, and just get them signed and then use that on a on the uh, on the cards Especially if you're talking, you know, you got upcoming, uh, now the one thing though that I do agree that sometimes they have a problem with, because again, I can't remember who it was, but, uh, somebody, I almost want to, it was somebody from like one of the CW shows. I don't think it was uh, Stephen Amell, but they couldn't, like he hadn't been in any of the products, you know, to sign, whatever the, the one particular actor was. And then somebody finally asked him, you know, how come you don't, you know, sign cards to, you know, in the set that they make of your show? And the guy says, nobody ever asked me. And apparently they had going to the agent and the agent shut it down and never even told the actor I'm not saying that's the case I'm just saying that was an example of somebody who who ended up signing once they found out yeah and I remember when they talked about when they got uh, Gustin, because he was, I mean, no offense, uh, Flash, I watch Flash and I watch Legends of Tomorrow, I don't watch Arrow, but it was a, he, he was ripping people off, I'm sorry, he wanted some insane, like he wanted like Hemsworth money for autographs, so I mean I can understand them only getting, you know, 15 autographs, because that was... God, I wish I could remember the number. It was, it was a crazy number. Like he wanted like two hundred dollars an autograph. I don't know if he still does it, but uh, used to be with. Uh, they were saying with uh, Amel, all you got to do is buy a, a case of his wine, and he signs every every invoice that goes out of his uh, his winery. It wouldn't be a case without Florence Kasumba. decent I mean nothing crazy the uh, they'll all get out I should be able to I mean I'm only gonna have to scan the autographs and the sketches so I should be able to get to them tonight I'm not I'm not tired yet this is a ZU nope ZU is not one of the hard ones Oh, I'll scan the wardrobe. What am I talking about? It's, uh, it's probably four scans. Nothing, uh, but nothing crazy. They were decent. I'll show you. So you know what? Since you weren't there, because they're right here. Hold on. I want to show you the one sketch. We were trying to figure out who the character was exactly. 
and I had a guess, but I don't even think it's the right person just because it's not the right color of the person. I kind I like this sketch the best. This is out of case one. This is not out of case two. Okay. If this. There we go. So she's got a red hood, looks like a red cape, and a white star on her shirt. Now I thought that like Marvel Girl or there's like a Miss Marvel who they had just redone, you know, a couple, yeah, you know, two, three years ago as like a teenage girl, but she was, but I see, I've never seen Captain Marvel look like that with the hood. But we were, we were talking earlier, and Russell got the name. It's like uh, Kamala Khan or whatever is like Marvel Girl or Miss Marvel. But she's uh, Middle Eastern of some kind or, you know, Indian. I, I've never read the comics, so I don't know what she's nationality is. But she's definitely drawn, you know, with a, like an olive-colored skin. But me personally, I like that sketch the best out of the sketches we got out of Case 1. There was her, there's a sketch of Scarlet Witch, a sketch of Black Panther, and a sketch of Claw. Also, I don't know, the artist that we've gotten, like this Trom guy we got in this case, um, there's only been one artist that I that I actually recognize from all the other stuff I've opened. So I don't know if they got a new slew of uh, artists. There's one of the indigo. Like I said in the first case, I'll say for these two, the uh, the base cards are nice looking, not a problem at all with them. Um, the inserts, like the the streets of Wakanda, I really like the look of those inserts. Uh, Wakanda Forever, they're fine. Behind the lens or behind the lens, I mean it's always the the easy, you know, the easy to get. That I don't really care about insert. Not really feeling the language of the people one. The Wakandan tech is okay. It's a small set. Parallel wise, since there's plenty of parallels, the um, the acetate cards are really neat looking. The wrong stack that goes there. That's a 
these indigo ones, I'm not sure. Besides the fact that they're, you know, they kind of like whitewashed out the back of the. And there's an autograph. Here's our duel again. I don't think this is the exact same one. So it's Angela Bassett and Florence Kasumba. Dual R. So this is A R. No, nah, the same one we got, I think. Oh, is that what it is? You know, now that you say that, I, I do remember reading that. I, I have a black light handy. Not. Let put that in the sauce. Yeah. All right, Tony, so back to the, the parallels. All right, so the indigo, I guess I got to look at them under a black light to actually see them. You know, I, I can tell you, I mean, you can see the pattern. I mean, it looks like it's just going to, the, the Black Panther background is just going to glow under a, under a black light. So I guess that'll look cool, but big deal. Um, I like the black parallels. Silver parallels are okay. That's probably what I'm going to go for since I can make a set of them with a case. Triple. But not on. Sorry, I had the wrong thing up. Well, you know, that's going to be the biggest thing is the signers. That's what everybody's going to have the problem with. I like the acetate parallels. I don't like the gold version. Gold version just looks dirty. Looks like an old acetate card from the 90s. It's gotten uh, whitewashed out. SH, not one of the hard ones. Okay, so there's four more boxes. We should have... Do we have five sketches or four sketches in the first case? We got four sketches and five autographs. So there should three of these should have an autograph and one of these should have a sketch if the same ratio holds true. For as disappointed as you are, you know that if they were able to get uh, Michonne, Circus, you know, guys like that, Whitaker, I mean, even if they didn't get Bozeman, I think, uh, you know, that would have been for a decent release. Instead of ultra, uh, uh, yeah, I could see that. But you know, uh, and again, I'm butchering the name. 
uh, Denai Garari Michonne. There's no way she has an exclusive deal with Cryptozoic. I don't think they, I don't think they would have the budget to, to do that to anybody. And she, well, no, not Crypto. I'm sorry, not Cryptozoic, but Tops. She only signed. She only signed for one of the Tops releases. I don't think she signed for. Uh, well, she definitely didn't sign for Road to Alexandria. I think she signed for one of the season up. Uh, releases. I don't think she signed for Evolution either. But Andy Circus, no reason why he couldn't sign. Sketch. So two cases, and we got two sketches by the same artist in the cases. I mean, the artist list isn't that huge, but uh, that's kind of interesting. The artist is this uh, Maddie Dariel guy. Here's a duel. Right, oh, that's a looks. That's a regular pack. EK is not a hard one. I don't know if it's like a camo pattern, that one fabric, or if it's a stain. Looks like a camo pattern. I guess I should have looked. You know, I, I had put in the thread that it was uh, storming at my house. <laughs> at 9 o'clock, my wife sent me a picture. And it, uh, it was sleeting. Or hail, whichever one you get when it's still hot out. Oh, excuse me there. All right, Maddie Dariol. There you go. It's not, not a bad sketch, Black Panther. So, 
if the first case is the same indicator, all three of these will have autographs in them. So we've got three more Florence Kasumbas coming our way. Now the actors in the movie, since we were still talking about everybody that they didn't get, like the the girl that plays the sister, is she uh, is she anybody famous? Now oh, we got another sketch. I don't know if you guys remember or not. Oh uh, crap! No, I'm sure. I can't even remember. What is that one product? Um, Sport Kings. Does that sound right? And there was one member which I couldn't even tell you the last time I remember seeing him post. Who had bought like I mean damn near every card out of Sport Kings, and then he made his own release, and he had like special cards that had coins in them, and you could redeem stuff. Was it was his name Matt something? Well, anyway, I think it was him. I think in the in the Sport King stuff, you could have your own card made, and you could pick like who was on it. And I feel like he got like a quad or like three or four autographs, and it was uh, and he got all the same person. Like it was like it was like four Ken Griffey Jr. autographs on the same card. I don't know if anybody remembers that. Uh, do either of you remember that? And not not so much the card with more than one with the same autograph, but just that that product. The uh, I think it was right, Sport Kings. Does that sound right? I remember the boxes when it came out. They had I mean really nice memorabilia pieces, but because they weren't licensed, you know all the cards were uh, you know like say portrait type cards. A lot of boxing stuff. I do remember that in there. Yeah, it was a couple years ago. I 
I'll have to look it up. I do want to, hold well, real quick, I want to just want to jump to the checklist for a second. Overall odds are 1 in 60 for um, single autographs. So these last two boxes have to have autographs in them or we don't get the odds. So... TC is not a hard one. I don't know if you guys can see the sketch on the table. I'll pick it up when I'm done here, but I don't know that character at all. Some guy holding a rose in his mouth. Flamenco. What's his superpower? He can dance really fast, move his feet fast. Uh, yeah, we got this same artist in the first case too. Holden Leung. I mean, it's a decent enough sketch. I just, I don't know this character. I'm going to take bets here. So we have two boxes left. They should both have autographs. I am going to go with um, another Florence Kasumba and and single of Angela Bassett. Will be the two autographs that we get. And if we don't get two autographs, I'll, uh, I guess I get to talk to Upper Deck tomorrow. Probably, but I guess the question is, would you take a Florence as a replacement, or would you rather just not have any? Oh, no, that's right. Really Maybe that's what they'll give me. Or I could just be like most people and say, hey, I was missing my Florence Kasumba. Um, I think an equal replacement will be a, you know, a, a Hemsworth, uh, Tessa Thompson dual, uh, wardrobe autograph. They're, they're about the same.
what did they do? They sent it back to you? I thought that was one of the... Alright, I did not look to see who it was, but that's the autograph. I thought that they had admitted that somebody smeared all the autographs. So they were replacing them. At least on the EPAC ones. Here's another indigo. I mean, what did they do? Did they? I mean, they sent it. Like I know, uh, a long time ago, I had sent in some cards I wanted to have replaced, and they sent some. Oh, what's the they sent some of them back um, with a letter saying that they fell within, you know, their tolerance for, you know, what a card should be like when it comes out of a pack or something like that. I think that was it. Was yeah, it was definitely tops that I that that happened to me on. But I mean, the fact that they said send all the smeared autographs to them, because I mean, every single card that came out of e every single, oh, well, not every, but most autographs that came out of EPAC were smeared. Oh, okay. I guess that's what ended up happening. See our Florence Kasumba. Yep, <laughs> Florence Kasumba. This cannot be another Kasumba. I mean, because that's both of the Kasumbas. So, oh no, there's three of them. There's three different Kasumbas. Two Freemans and three Basses. One, I can't even say anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So two Bassets, two Freemans, and three Kasumbas. So we got two of the Kasumbas. We better not get a third one. That would be nice. Or you know what? Hey, how about uh, how about the triple autograph? 
Oh, wait a minute. I thought there was a triple. No, just a duel. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, take that back. When I was scrolling up and down, I, I thought I saw a triple. Obviously, I was wrong. Let's take what we got left here. That's a relic. Uh, maybe, but I don't think. Oh, that's a relic. I only see two relics in here, so the Freeman autograph memorabilia is is a no go. an autograph right there I did not see what it was I could just I just saw that it was the gray card and I'm just praying it's not the third Florence Kasumba Nothing packs to go. There's a gold acetate. I think that makes three in this case. Nope, no, just two. I thought I had already gotten two. I'm afraid to see the autograph. Because it's going to be another Florence Kasumba. And I'm going to really be disappointed.
Gonna have a little bit of fun with this. We're gonna make you wait. BP, not one of the harder ones. it off well not finish it off <laughs> mail it back to upper deck all right please don't please don't please don't all right it's not thank god angela bassett this is This is the easier of her two autographs, but so what? It's not, I'm sure Florence Kasumba is a lovely lady, but we've got enough of her autographs already. So that does it for two cases of Black Panther. So here is my thought on the product. If they only were, only were able to put in a couple more signers, you know, whatever the reason is, don't know. Not my problem to care, honestly. But I think the base cards look nice. The parallel looks, parallels look nice. Don't really like the one insert set, but the other insert sets I think look really nice. I really like them. Uh, sketch cards are typical. You know, they're average to above average. You know, nothing crazy. Uh, acetate, acetate cards are cool. I don't get the deal on the indigo cards. I don't know why I need a black light. But I mean, I, I think it's a solid product. Again, only saying that because the autographs. It should have been a really good product. Way more than solid. But I mean, I think it's a typical release. So, thank you for watching. I'm going to get scanning. And, uh... We'll see you on the next break.